Cook, who's here today to try our scrapple and tell us what to do with your leftover turkey. It's Mr. Farmer. Hey, Mr. Farmer. Hey, Mr. Farmer. <laughs> Somebody in the show recently asked to say, why do you, why do you call Nikki Mrs. Farmer? I'm like, it's Mrs. Farmer. I call you Mrs. Farmer. Just as a joke, uh -huh. you call Mom Mrs. Farmer. Mrs. Uh -huh. Farmer calls me Mr. Farmer, and it's just, it's just kind of fun. So that's, that's how that started back in the 70s. Yeah. 1974, right? Right. You were there. Mm. I got it. What Daddy's making is what we used to smell after Thanksgiving. You wake up in the morning. Such a simple recipe, but such a wonderful smell. Okay, so you want me to start? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do. We'll get this heated up a little bit. It takes about 20 minutes for the potatoes to cook. This is a couple of cups of broth, and I try to cut it up efficiently and make the pieces come out a certain size so you can pick them up with, with your fork or spoon or whatever you eat with. And just in a few seconds, you have a bunch of tiny potatoes to go in the hash. I usually use like four pretty good sized potatoes. <clears throat> these were a little bit smaller, so we used a few more. I think we used about six of these. I'll put, uh, I'll put the potatoes in first because <clears throat> it takes them longer to cook. I'll go ahead and put these onions in there too since I got them cut up. I think I'll cut up a little bit more onion to put in there. Just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper. Now in a minute, and all these onions are getting my eyes. But in a minute, we're gonna start getting that smell. If you don't have broth, no big deal. You can, it's almost as good with water. Hmm. So, but broth, broth is the best, of course, because you get that broth cooked into everything. This is a little bit, this is going to be a little bit meaty, so that's, I, I like that. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so there you go, 20, now, 20 minutes. When you went back and made it the first time, did you have to kind of experiment to get that, do you, I'm, I'm sure you remember the smell and taste too, just like when you were here. Yeah, um, I think the thing I had to figure out the most was the proportions, mm -hmm. you know. How, much, how many potatoes, how many onions, and how much meat. Do you know, you know what it kind of looks mm -hmm. like. And I was telling you when I first came, I kind of came up with a, an idea, one, two, three, four. One onion, medium size, uh, two cups of turkey, three cups of broth, and four pretty good size potatoes. And that makes a skillet. That's it, what, smell, I, smell that? Yeah, I smell it. That's the magic. If it boils down a little bit and starts to look maybe a little bit dry, you can add a little water, a little bit more broth, but you don't want it soupy, you don't want it too wet, and you don't want it to dry out. You want it to be able to go over your biscuits like a gravy and then the, the, the other part too. It's not done until the potatoes get soft, so it takes a while. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to eat this. The kitchen is filled with the proper smell. All right. Mm. That smells beautiful. And here's, here's what I think is the way to eat it. Of course, you know, you can eat it any way you want, but that's about how we usually do. Now that right there. And you may need a little salt. I, don't, I didn't salt it too heavy. Look at that. The simplest things. It might burn you up. You better watch out. Okay. Oh man. Let's eat. Oh, it's good. 